Welcome everyone to this month's Astro Coloscope. My name is Elizabeth Harper. My website is sealedwithlove.com. So before we get started, do remember to subscribe to my love letter. Grab your free color kit at bit.ly forward slash color kit. Find out what your true colors are. So the idea of the Astro Coloscope is that I take three crystals, gems from my crystal bag here, for each star sign, throw them into a circle of houses, of the 12 houses, see where they land, and then read the color of the crystals and the house for the influence, the influences for your month ahead. I'm also gonna take a bead from my bead bag for an extra color, just to see what is flavoring your month. And finally, because we like threes, I like everything in threes, uh, we're going to take a card from this tarot deck, this is the Voyager deck, and these are collages of um, images. So what I'll ask you to do for your star sign is to take a look at the card and see what you are most attracted to in that card and then ask yourself, what does that mean? And then allow the information to come through. So before we get started, just um, a little bit about what's coming up astrologically. So we have Mercury retrograde, <laughs> which is always, always seems to be happening, doesn't it? But that Mercury retrograde, when it comes in, and especially right now because uh, we're going through Aquarius, certainly for part of February, the Mercury retrograde just helps you to go inside of yourself. It doesn't always have to be like super bad. But you might find with the, with this particular retrograde motion, because Venus is also uh, in Aquarius and there's Mercury and there's two new moons that are Aquarius as well. One of them was in January, the other one's coming up in February, which is a big deal. That this is a really transformative time. And it, it's, it's almost like an, there's another uh, transit, which is Uranus, Pluto. And that's, of course, continuing uh, through our lives at the moment. It's going to culminate in March. And that energy, it's, it's almost like we're needing to let go of anything that has held us back and really come into this place of freedom. And I feel that relationships are going to be big, letting go of old relationships, old relationships coming back into our lives and maybe they're going to be mirrors for us to see what has to shift before we can get to that place of success. We're also um, in Jupiter retrograde as well until April and this has been going on since December so you may find that financially things have been a little bit stuck or something's been stuck uh, around your work or, or ways of bringing abundance into your life. So if that abundance is about friendships then it's going to shift it just might take a little bit of time and maybe until April as well not to like put that into your mind uh, to create it in your life but just have it at the back of your mind that it is going to shift for you it can shift right now but it may take until April for that to happen all right so let's get started with our crystals Okay, Virgo, so you have this beautiful angel aura that went into your sixth house. This is uh, quartz and it has this gorgeous rainbow sheen on it. So in the sixth house, the sixth house is your work and health and uh, mind, body, balancing it's like a mind body connection but it's balance it's work-life balance as well that comes into that particular environment the number six is the number of venus which is the number of love and with this particular energy i feel almost as if it's saying what would you most love to do what if you could do anything what would you do this is an angel energy so it's bringing the angelic realm into your environment and giving you the opportunity not to start again but almost to see how your life would be different if you could start again and maybe to start thinking about starting again 
I feel that the angelic realm are all around you. So with the sixth house, it is your work. So this is clearing the way in your work. And it could just be that you're clearing your desk and you're clearing jobs out of the way, clearing your schedule, etc., allowing for some kind of magic to come into your life. This can also be with your health as well, that you're clearing up your, your lifestyle, that you are clearing away the medications, clearing out anything that's been stuck in your body, your mind, your spirit, etc. And again, allowing the angelic realm to come in or to allow a miracle to come in. There's a sense of miracles with this. And it just feels really magical for me, for you, for this month. This stone is garnet. And this went into your seventh and eighth house. It was kind of on that cusp in between. The seventh house is relationships. The eighth house is also relationships, but it, it's like the seventh is connecting to those relationships and maybe the eighth is breaking away from them as well and the legacy of those relationships and what's left behind with garnet it's a stone of what lights your fire and it's lighting things up so again i get this sense of you looking at your life especially as this has gone kind of from the sixth the seventh the eighth it, it's looking at what's in your life and who is in your life and how you would change it if you could and you know you can totally change it but just looking at it from that perspective of if i could change it how would i change it this is about survival with garnet and you know with red it's a very heavy stone with red it's about having your feet on the ground and looking at how you make your money how you uh, live your life with the seventh house this is about the relationships that you have and how you live your life in those relationships with white and red together when they link together it's asking you not to be a victim to let go of thinking that you can't have something and that everybody else can have it but you can't so this is saying let go of that even though it's going to be difficult you need to light that new fire within you to move in a direction be committed to that direction that is right for you so this can be in your work because this went into your sixth house. It could be with your health because that's the sixth house. Could be with your relationships, seventh house. So we're pretty much, you know, covering everything with that. This also stepped into your eighth house as well. So I feel that, you know, it's death and rebirth is in your eighth house. So I feel that with these, that there's almost a sense of you dying, some part of you, your life is dying, and then there's a new birth in that part of your life. So again, it can be work, relationships, health, etc., all the sort of staples of life. With this too, the white is love and the red is love. So you're bringing some kind of love into your life, into your work, into your health, into relationships. Whatever that is, it needs to be love that is not putting on you, that doesn't create a victim mentality in your life. Right. The final stone went into your 10th house and this is uh, an celestial quartz and this has this white on one side and then it's kind of peachy on the other side it's a very pretty stone it's a very delicate delicate energy but it also has a fire in it as well this is a high vibrational high dimensional energy so with your 10th house you are moving up you're moving up to a new level of being so when we look at these, there's a sense of these two stones, when you put them together, you get this one. So it's not quite the same because these would make a pink and this is more of a kind of peachy color, but there is a sense of you 
letting go of that idea that you're not good enough or letting go of that idea of being a victim and then coming to this higher dimensional place, a higher vibrational place. So as with all of us that are going through change at the moment, you are going through enormous shifts. And this is the emotional energy that's right here. What you need to be careful of is in your work environment is is not to get too emotional, not to get hot under the collar, not to allow that fire to come out and burn bridges for you. Instead, go with that sense of where have I been a victim and then let go of that and go into this higher dimensional energy, this higher vibration. And when you do that, what you'll find is that in your work environment, in your relationships, in your health, that something shifts uh, and something is cleansed out. This looks almost like a kidney. Something is cleansed out and there's almost a, a sense of deeper bliss, more happiness, which is an orange energy, more fun as well. So the stone that came up for you, the color that came up for you is this opalescent uh, white bead. And it reminded me of the angel aura. So I feel that angels, you know, angels might not be your thing, but there is a, a lovely sense of magic that is in the air for you this month. And if angels are your thing, angels are going to be with you. They're going to be with me, certainly, all the time. So I'm sure they're with you too. So let's see what your card is. And you get actor. So take a look at that card, see what you're most attracted to, then ask yourself, what does that mean? What does that mean? So when I look at this, I actually see the feathers. So I see these feathers that are, are feathering out down here and around the card. And it looks almost like it's it's belong it belongs to a head or a mask or something, but um, the mask is completely different from the feathers. So I feel, you know, it's called actor, it's called man of wands. I feel as if you may feel this month as if someone is putting on you or you've been put on by others and you're going to change that, but you're going to change it in a nice way. You're not going to change it in a way where you're all flying off the handle. You have an opportunity to shift it and to come into this different place. So there is a book called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. And I feel that that is what is coming for you is feel the fear and do it anyway and do it in a way that is in your best and highest interest for your best and highest interest. Okay, that's it for this month's Astro Coloscope. Hope you've enjoyed it. Do remember to grab my free color kit at bit.ly forward slash color kit. And also check out the jewelry in my store. These are some new pieces I'll be putting into my store, store.sealwithlove.com. I look forward to seeing you next month. And of course, do leave me a comment below and let me know if the Astro Coloscope resonated with you and please share it with your friends. Thank you so much. Color wishes, blessings to you. Bye.